email. If you do not send this to 15 people, you will die by 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock now. I'm not going to send this on. It's chain mail. Oh, um... <laughs> what are you doing here? This is my bedroom. Did you forward on that email? The the, ch the one saying I'd come and kill you if you didn't forward on the email? No, it's chain mail. I'm not going to send it on. Um, well, I kind of have to kill you now. You're not actually going to kill me, are you? I kind of have to, because the email said... No, no, no. I didn't forward it on. No, no, so, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll email it immediately. I've done it. I've, done it. I've sent it to 15 people. Don't kill me. Oh, um, I guess I don't need to be here anymore. Um, sorry, where's your bathroom? Just before just I go. down the hall. Thanks, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Brittany. Hey, Isaac. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I was just wondering, do you want to go on a de- uh, de- Wait, uh, why can't I say that? D did you forward on that email I sent you? Oh. Do you mean the email that said I had to send it to 12 people or I wouldn't get asked out by my crush? Yeah. Um, no. I did I can do it now. I'll do it now. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a bit late now. What? <gasps> do you really think these things are going to happen in real life? My name is Lana Pearson and I'm here to give you three easy steps on how to be safe from scam mails. Step one. Know what chain mail is. Chain mail is an email that usually tells you to pass it on or something Number bad two. will happen. Be smart. Have you ever broken the chain of chain mail before? If yes, has anything bad ever happened to you? Or have you been too worried or scared to try? These claims are unrealistic and are never going to happen. If you're really worried, try to distract yourself and hang around with other people. Number three, use common sense. Think about it. It would have been there before and after you read it. Whatever is supposed to happen isn't going to happen just because you read an email. Remember to be safe and break the chain. Help hungrychildren.com Seems legit. Solve world hunger. Donate. Aww, I'll sponsor you. Six thousand dollars. Better check my bank account balance. Um, <gasps> Hi, I'm Sally Michaels, and this here is a charity scam. These scams try to take advantage of your generosity. Charity scams involve a scammer collecting money by pretending to be a genuine charity. Scammers can play on your emotions by claiming to help children who are ill or in need. Like the scam we just showed you. The link that is often on the scam page takes you to another page asking for credit card details. Make sure you check the name of your organiser that you have been told to donate to. Be cautious if it sounds like a very unfamiliar charity. Selling a very, very adorable exotic cat, Norwegian ice cat, only six weeks old, selling for three thousand dollars. Vaccinations and medical treatments have been well cared for. Email back on buy cats dot now. Oh, I'll get my cat soon. Wait, all my money. My gone. name is Piper Jones, and this is an example of a pet scam. The scammer has emailed you an ad of a cute or exotic pet. The pet is normally overseas or interstate and requires you to pay transport fees as well as the price of the pet. The scammer can then ask for more money for vaccinations and unforeseen costs. Your pet will never arrive because it never existed. Try to avoid buying pets that you haven't seen in person and remember, never give anybody your bank account details. Stop! Scams! 